How do you allow yourself to experience an orgasm? Carlin, I'm getting those questions by the thousands. From if, young women. If I were to string them all together, people would not believe the tragedy that's going on in America today with our young women. We don't have permission to have pleasure. So if you had to keep a, a, someone a mm -hmm. second-class citizen, deny them an orgasm. And they all sure. think they're, they're broken, they're, they're, there's something terribly wrong with them. It gets in the way of your relationships. They can't, can't have connect a, to they anyone They can't have else. a relationship. Yeah. They, they break up because mm -hmm. one woman said, I'm just not going to date anyone anymore. It's just too painful. So here it is. If you've never had an orgasm, you don't really know what to expect, except... Yeah. Everyone has an expectation. Of course they do. And from the media, I remember as a young girl, they would talk about, you know, fireworks or it's like crossing a bridge. I'm like, what does that mean, crossing, crossing a bridge? <laughs> like, But they say, you'll know when you have one. Oh, I hate that shit. Oh, it's just, and it's... it's Sometimes it's, you don't know when you have one. Well, it, later you know? on, you will always know. No, you But in the you, beginning... No, in the beginning, I think what's happening with a lot of these women is that they're masturbating and they're building up, and they and they describe all of the things that go with a their build. heart races, they get sweaty, they're they, wet, and all these things yeah. are going on. And then all of a sudden, it hurts, and they have to stop. Well, that's because the chances are the clitoris has already fired off eight thousand nerve endings. It, she's had an orgasm, mm -hmm. small. Not the fireworks didn't happen. The end of the bridge didn't appear. <laughs> you know, her, she didn't nearly die from ecstasy and all the other crap that you read about. So there she is, and she's and so she's broken. There's something terribly wrong. So she has to stop, and then she's confused. And what it is is based on expectations. You've got to let go of your expectations of what an orgasm is. If you're not accustomed to having an orgasm, give yourself time. Give yourself time and practice. I Absolutely. Mean, and my first orgasm is never my biggest. Well, no, when you masturbate now, no. When you masturbate now, the first one's always that takes the longest. It's a little blurp. And then it takes me to the third or fourth orgasm before I feel like it's fireworks. And I'm like, whoa. And, like, I'm just, I know I've had one. Well, and that's, I call priming the pump. Oh, I like that, priming the pump. Yeah. You have to prime the pump. You have a little one in the beginning, and then you then you pause a moment or two. You have to let the glitterous rest, mm -hmm. let her calm down. How long should you let it rest? Well, a few. So if, you, if it gets intense, what do you do, a few minutes? Yeah, back off, but don't stop moving and breathing. In other words, don't go. Yeah. Bleh. I take my vibrator, I run it in between my thighs, and yeah. up my and, chest, and keep, over my nipples. Just yeah. keep, you know, stay in the stay in the mood, stay in the in the uh, in the moment. In the moment, stay yeah. there. Don't go off the 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 and answer and make a phone call <laughs> <laughs> or look at your cell phone. Yeah, no cell phones in the room. <laughs> Shut it so, off. So that's right. So there you have just a moment or two. And then you put your vibrator back on your clit and you start your stimulate and you build up again. Yes. And then you can have another orgasm. So and they're always looking for the edge or the climax or, you know, the fireworks or some big symbol. <laughs> In the beginning, orgasms can be not much more than a hey -oh. It's like a hiccup or a sneeze. Yeah. I got you. you. Got you. Yeah. After all, it is just an autonomic reflex, mm -hmm. and it's not the end-all, be-all, but that's what this culture... So what we do is we build it up, we make orgasm the most important thing in the world, and then we don't tell you how to do it. <laughs> but we know that everyone else is having tons oh, of them. Oh, <laughs> and big ones, and fabulous. I remember when I first started having sex with Grant, I was having such big orgasms that I one time I said, uh oh, could I die from having an orgasm? <laughs> like Rockefeller in the, yeah. in the saddle. Had, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I've never heard of anyone dying from an orgasm, maybe dying for an orgasm. And I went, okay, let's do it again. I've had it been so intense, especially if I'm with a partner. It takes a lot for me to really let go and have, like, I can have little small orgasms and that's great. And then I know I really trust when someone when I can let go and have one, like a really... A big one. Because it's ve you're very vulnerable... You know, at, at that moment, like post orgasm, I feel. well, even building up you know? to it, you really have to. It is let go of your body in a way. Like I'm not caring about what I look like, and right, you're, you're, I'm out of breath and I'm sweaty and I'm gyrating my hips. It's another form of consciousness. Yeah, it's not self consciousness. It's sex consciousness. You're in your body and you're feeling. And it's building. I'm not thinking about anything. Exactly. I can't even speak. I'm just like, oh, no, there's no yeah. dirty talk. You, no, no, forget, <laughs> forget dirt, small talk or dirty talk. 
this, and the guy that says, talk to me, you know, say something. Oh, hey, when they ask you something, you're like, well, I don't well, have no, no idea what's no, going on now. right now. <laughs> not now. No, no. Don't ask me anything now. I'm getting close to an orgasm. Mm -hmm. Just forget everything you've ever seen in the movies or you've read in romantic right. literature and don't expect someone to read your mind and give you this astounding, astounding experience where you scream and faint and holler and drop dead or practically. <laughs> it can be a small beginning. All beginnings are small and sweet. And you build from there. And then you build from there. So now, go practice.